Catuso's is a good place to eat, especially good with the right kind of company. Yvonne was a cute trick from a new show opening on Broadway who hated to see me eat alone. I was going to return the favor and take her out that night. When all of a sudden, she came in with a fellow I knew, a lawyer named Sam Morley. It looked like a boss and secretary relationship to me, working overtime. She looked over at me and... Would you like to tell me about it? Well... Well, Kathy, you know all about me, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Well, you know how I've always lived my life, and uh, uh, how I've always felt about... Dames? Yeah, yeah. Are you, uh trying to tell me you'd like to change, Dame? Oh, no, Kathy. Oh, no, I don't want to change, you know. No, that's what the trouble is. Well, what are you trying to tell me? Waiter, uh, have you got the check? You've already paid it. Uh, oh, I, oh, yeah, that's... Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, I did, didn't I? Uh, well, uh, don't you think it's about time we were going? Mike, huh? sit down. Uh, you want some more coffee? Mm -mm. Uh, a cigarette, maybe? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> you know, I was walking down the street this afternoon, and I saw it in front of a jewelry store. A jewelry store? That doesn't sound like you, Mike. No, it sure doesn't, does it? Mm. You're not yourself, maybe. No, 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 I'm not. I haven't been since I met you. Oh, what am I saying? What are you saying? Well, Kathy, I guess I'm trying to say that I've fallen very much in love with you and I'd like you to be my wife. Oh, boy, does that sound corny. Oh, not corny, Mike. I love you. Honest? Mm -hmm. Well, will you marry me? Timing. 
Bermuda. Yeah. Mike, listen, listen to me. Well, oh, I know. The whole town knows it. I know you are, yeah. That's why I'm calling you. Okay, Gito, okay. Make it short. I'm busy making plans, Gito. No, Mike, look, Mike, Mike, this, look, this is your pal Gita talk. Will you listen to me? No, this, this noise can't wait. The, can the transfusion wait? So? No, not on the phone. No, 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 you get yourself down here real fast. Okay, Gita, okay. All right, but if you're blowing air, believe me, believe me, I'm gonna make you eat your glasses. Two bucks, baby. Yeah, well, I'll decide that. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Ixnay. Hey, hey, go cross street, buy yourself another soda. Beat it. So what are you doing, getting rid of my customers? All right, all right, Gita, now what is it, huh? Oh, my God, I can tell you. I'm a, I'm a businessman, yeah. and I gotta make a living. Yeah, well, you're lucky to be alive. Oh. Uh, you're choking me, Mike. You're oh, choking me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Let's make it fifty dollars, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's worth every cent. Every cent. Fifty? Eh? No. <laughs> what? Ten dollars? Ten? Maybe, maybe ten, maybe not. There. You know, I got an idea to hit you right in the eye. <laughs> all right, now what's this all about, you to talk? It's about Moxie. Moxie? What about? He's making book, Mr. Hammer. Moxie's making book. Uh, huh? Well, what do you know about? Moxie is really making book. My, 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 now isn't that amazing? So what are you doing with the glasses? You know, it's astonishing. What is so different about Moxie making book? Oh, huh? See, this is different. Oh, oh no. All you, right, now, do you want to tell me what's really going on, huh? Oh, man, you can't mean this. That's right. <laughs> you know I don't like mustard. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Right, so now what's different about Moxie making book, huh? He's been making books since he was four years old. Well, how about the two fins? Oh, you mean the money. Oh, $10, wasn't it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Well, all right, here you go, right there. <laughs> Either the ten spot or the sandwich. He's making book that there'll be no wedding bells between you and Kathy Dean. What? what he, he's laying odds. A uh, hundred to one that there'll be no wedding. And you, and you know, what odds like that, this guy's got plenty of takers. Do you know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gita, 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 you know, I feel so good. Did I even like you? Now I'll tell you what you do. Here you go. You put your glasses back on, that's right. And you take this 10 spot down to Moxie and you make yourself a fast grand. Ah, I'm looking at the world through rose colored glasses. Oh. I love you, Mike. I love you. We set the date and Kathy agreed to a civil ceremony in Judge Anderson's office. Pat Chambers took time off from the force to be best man. We were due to pick Kathy up in half an hour. Come on, we're gonna be late, let's go, come on. You think I'm wrong, don't you? I mean, you think I'm making a mistake, huh? No one ever gave you that impression. Well, I, I mean, you know, this, this marriage bit, you know, it's forever, you know, forever. Oh, boy, that's a long time. Yeah, it's a life sentence, Mike. Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm scared of. You, you, well, you know, me, maybe... Maybe I can't make her happy. I, 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 I don't deserve a girl like Kathy. I know you don't. <laughs> you look great, lover boy. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, you got the ring? I got the ring. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Oh. Uh, 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 Pat. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. 
don't know why, but all of a sudden, that telegram was hard to open. I had a premonition that something was wrong. A chunk of ice the size of my fist began to form in my stomach. Can't go through with it. Sorry, Kathy. I beat your head and I want to know why. What's your beef? I would have killed you, Moxie. It's interesting. Only I asked you a question. Why? Because you... Because you killed Kathy to make sure there wouldn't be a wedding. Uh, I didn't do that. I'm gonna kill you, Moxie. You can make sure of that. I'm gonna kill you today, and tomorrow. Flipped. You think I'd protect a bet by bumping off your girl? Look, I could name 50 guys in this town that, that you've pinned pedigrees on. Any one of them would like nothing better than to pay you back. Look, I got my own score to settle with you. But I'm not stupid enough to kill your girl and hang around here waiting for you to come down here. When did this happen? She was alive two hours ago. You lunkhead. This is a contract renewing a lease. I just signed it in front of a notary. You can find out from him when and how long I was in his office. Teach you to call half cocked. Throw the bum out of here. Moxie's remark had been an understatement. There wasn't a case in my files that didn't provide someone with a reason to hate my guts. And there were more than 500 cases that I had kept records on. Any one of them might have killed Kathy. The records showed over 100 state paid vacations at Sing Sing that I could take credit for. A half a dozen, like Moxie, were known to be cop haters and were back on the outside. I'd get to all of them in time. There was no way of saying goodbye to Kathy. I knew I never would.
Roger, stop. Keep playing. How do you know where to find me? You've got friends. They worry about you. Touched, I'm sure. You're just torturing yourself, Mike. I got news for you. I don't feel a thing. I understand you tried to kill Moxie. Forget it, Mike. This is one time you've got to leave things to us. You don't understand, Pat. I killed Kathy just as sure as if I'd pull the trigger myself. I set her up for it, and I let it happen. You're setting yourself up for the chair. Forget it, Mike. Leave it to us. Remember Moxie. The next guy you go after may be just as innocent. Look, Mike, a friend of mine has a little place up at Old Line, Connecticut. What? I wasn't going to tell you this. In fact, I wasn't going to spell a word to nobody, especially to you. How much money do you want? Oh, no, Mike. I don't want no money. I don't want nothing. All I want is for you to know, because I just can't keep quiet anymore. You know who killed Kathy? Mike, I made the deal for the gun. I read the description of it in the newspapers. That's why I know it's the same gun. Mike, can't you understand? It's the same as if I killed her. Oh, Mike, I'm sick. I'm sick. Who bought it? I don't know. A guy I never saw before. He comes in here and he asks for a clean bark. He said he had a special job to do. When? This was the day before... before Kathy. He wanted a rod for no ballistics. To me, he looked like a, a cutter from Chicago. Maybe, I, I don't know. You know, one of these single jobs and out fast. Who hired him? Mike, this took a lot of digging. You see, at first I didn't know. That's why I didn't tell you. But now... Now I know. Who hired him? Dobbler. Dobbler. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. and a con man I had tangled with several months before. I'd ruined his play and he'd moved to a less expensive neighborhood. Who 
is it? Telegram for Dobler. Slip it under the door. Chicago select him. If you talk about the funeral, like I didn't send any flowers. No, I'm talking about the wedding. Sorry about that. I'm not... 